Okay, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some more Five Color Reborn. We had a ton of fun with this deck just a couple of days ago, and so I wanted to get back at it. Uh, not changing anything, it, it played really well uh, before, and so we're just going to kind of, you know, try it out again. So yeah, we're a Five Color deck here with Niv-Mizzet Reborn, and yeah, we went 5-0 last time. I'm not really expecting to go 5-0 again, but yeah, we, we had a lot of... We had a lot of success, and last time the mana base worked really well. I think that's what we got pretty lucky with was, like, our mana base working well. We cast Niv-Mizzet on turn five multiple times without the help of Chromatic Lantern just from playing lands out. And as you can tell by our mana base here, that can be pretty tough. I remember whenever I first made this mana base, I kind of struggled over it for a while. But uh, I think it's kind of working and everything. One car a couple of cards that I really like these days. I really like Deafening Clarion. There's a lot of mana creatures around, and Deafening Clarion seems really good, and, and like Mono Red and stuff. Not only with the three damage, which is awesome, but then, then in the late game, giving creatures like Hydra Crasis and Niv Mizzet Reborn Life Link help, helps uh, finish games away. And I was pretty impressed with Othakaya last time because of all the three mana Planeswalkers that people are playing these days, like Vivian and Teferi. They played and ticked down right away, and the Othakaya, like the one in the main, the couple more on the board, did a good job of uh, pinging those um, and getting rid of those. And of course, Discovery is like the is like the glue that holds this deck together. I mean, besides Chromatic Lantern, Lantern and Discovery are the two glue pieces. Where obviously Lantern just fixes your mana and ramps you to like your five mana spells immediately. But then Discovery also, with the Surveil 2, really digs pretty deeply and helps you fix your mana, and it can, can be cast off of a blue mana or a black mana. So that's pretty key. All right, well, we did great with this deck last time. Let's see how we do again. It was a lot of fun. So that's what we're doing today. We're playing some fun decks. You can see our list over here on the left-hand side. I'm going to be just going to the traditional queues today, the traditional constructed queues where we'll pay our entry fee, win some prizes. Um, not doing any ranked today, I don't think. Where's my deck? Five Color Reborn, here it is. I feel like doing this. The Arena Tournament's next weekend already? I guess, yeah, I guess it is. It's in like 10 days or so, huh? Um, Right now, I mean, it's obviously this is like changing and everything because like three days ago I didn't really even know about this deck. But right now it seems like the best deck is the four color command deck that I played yesterday. Um, that deck is pretty insane. It's just, it's feels like the new four color rally. Um, you have a lot of really good creatures. I mean, you have the explore package and then you have like Teferi. Like, Lil Teferi is your Reflector Mage. You got Tamiyo as your Jace Friends Prodigy. You have, of course, Command the Dread Horde as your Rally of the Ancestors that just blows people out of the water. You just get to play good defense. It's it's like the evolution of Soul Tide Control, basically. Um, and it's really good. It is getting more and more popular that deck is I think I want to keep both of these well I definitely want to keep the Hinterland Harbor so I don't have the other mana for Teferi right now so I could ditch Teferi but I think I want to just keep Teferi Teferi's just great we're playing against Watery Grave not likely to super aggro deck hey what's up no normal blue Welcome from the YouTube channel. Oh, right. I can't cast that card right now. Yeah, welcome. I was actually just talking about the YouTube channel earlier. Another viewer said that they were coming in here from the YouTube channel saying how I've been really excited about the progress of the YouTube channel. So I'm giving them another 
trigger here, but I if they had the counter spell, I wanted them to counter on their turn. Kind of thing. They're keeping that card anyway. All right, hopefully. So yeah, a little punish because I could have I could have had a Johnny out right now, but I don't know if a Johnny is going to be doing a whole lot for us in this matchup anyway. Hopefully we draw the land. Ugh. Did not draw the land. Oh, there's the land. What's up, Rat Vale? That's more like it. So Shekel, Shekel, why can't why can't you use your Twitch Prime sub? No Keep up the pace. Is it is it in use for another? Maybe you have it in use for another subscription, maybe. That'd be the only reason why I can think of why you wouldn't be able to use it. I'm known for my excellent timing. Reverse. Yeah, I'm going to play some more Feather today. That was a lot of fun yesterday. Definitely enjoyed that one. Oh, that is true. You do have to use Prime from a desktop. That is true. Maybe that's... Yeah, maybe if you're not using Twitch Prime on your desktop. Oh, I bet that's that's probably it. Thanks there, London. I'll protect you. Yeah, the Storm Conduit, that's a new deck that I made yesterday or two days ago. I just maybe two days ago. I haven't really played it very much. Um, I played like just a couple practice practice matches with it a couple days ago. What a good mindless minion. Hmm. We need to move quickly. Um, so Liana's a problem. You know, definitely playing this thing. Hey, Solver, thanks to the Twitch Prime sub there. Oh, I have not seen Ral plus Theater of Horrors. I have not. First of the day. Um, so I could Othakaya, help kill Teferi. Then my Teferi's gonna die. Time for plan B. This is hardly my worst feat. That Liliana's gonna be a big mess. Because, like, you know, Niv Mizzet Perun, not good against the Liliana Dreadhorde General. For example. Yeah, I couldn't kill. If I could have killed Liliana with the, hy the Hydroid, I, I would have definitely done that with the Krasis. We would have been in a lot better position through all of this if I would have just. Played the correct land on turn three, mortified the Ascanta on turn three, turn four played a Johnny instead of Mortify. Or if I had this a Johnny out here that was pumping like the Krasis and pumping my Teferi loyalty with the a Johnny minus. Um, could have done that, you know, even a couple of times so far and definitely be in a little bit better position than what we are right now. Most powerful decks, um, maybe uh, like we the four color command, again. the Esper Hero, Bant Midrange, Mono Red Aggro. What's up, Dev's Scammer? Thanks, Dev. Just 
It's definitely nothing wrong with Esper Control here. Oh, I guess I could have gave my creature vigilance. I don't think I'm I'm not blocking anyway though, so I will teach you whatever humility, if I must. I will return more. Uh the most competitive of my own brew is probably the, the two the Arcbow ones, the Selesnia and the Gruel Arcbows. I'm mean, playing Gruel Arcbow tomorrow. Um I want to be able to show remorse. I haven't played it in in a little while. I want to be able to to tinker with it before bringing it back on stream. I wanted to tune it some, and I didn't have the chance to today. Yeah, the feather deck was a lot of fun last night, and so I wanted to play that one again. So Bosch Iron Golem. Man, Bosch is that's a pretty good card. 8 mana, legendary artifact creature. Golem, 6-7, Trample. Where you can pay 3 and a red, sacrifice an artifact. Bosch, Iron Golem, deals damage equal to the sacrifice artifacts CMC to any target. That's a, that's a solid card. I mean, it's it doesn't mind sharing its artifacts. That's really nice of it. Not today, death. Oh yeah, Grixis Diviner is good. That one that one's not really my own brew. That one I got a, a list offline. Um But that that deck was good yesterday. This looks like a fun new toy. Not looking good. We're just dead in the water. All right, anti control stuff. In. Anti aggro stuff. Out. So Othakaya is kind of weird. Or it's fine at shooting planeswalkers. I don't know if that's worth like a, a card though. Kind of the problem with going anti-control like this, as you can see, is we're basically an Esper deck now. So Niv Mizzet Reborn is worse because it's only looking at like Esper cards to be able to grab for us. We don't need these too much. So I can play some Knight of Autumns. Just play that instead of Mortify. And yeah, Niv is a Perun is just so bad against Liliana. Ugh, but it's good against other as long as they don't have Liliana, it's good. But it's real bad against Liliana. I don't know what what else what is like not so good in here. All 
I guess I'm not. I'm only gonna play one night of autumn. So I'm gonna cut little to fairy. Basically, all little to fairy is doing is like keeping them from. I don't know. I shouldn't be cutting little to fairy. Just kind of panicked. There's like other things like I could cut Niv Mizzet, for example, but I just don't really want to. So you're looking at the Selesnya Arcbow deck and try out something similar as in the Planeswalkers added two Ripjaw Raptors for an aggro and kind of card advantage. See, I'm wondering if, if this Arcbow deck, if the Gruul deck, I wonder if you actually want the... Uh, haste the two mana 2-2 two -two with Riot these days with all these little Teferis around. We just need more haste things, like instead of branch walkers. I don't really know what Kaya does or is doing. No, the new the Demir control deck for today is a new one that I put together today. Um, it's based around Immortal Sun, or it's like a, it's a control deck with Immortal Sun at the top because of all these Planeswalker decks. Like Immortal Sun against our opponent, for example, just really I'm shuts them off. Anything, living or dead. Good riddance to bad news, you won. Company. Shuffling this me time. off my mortal coil. Alright, so they'll have two counter spells. So they can counter like a Krasis and a Vraska, but then Reborn resolves or something like that. They don't have a land drop. I think I just play Relic Seeker here and blow up the Azkanta. Maybe I'll play Niv. I hope you said you'll be back. Back. I'm gone for now. Just you wait. But not forever. Okay. So yes, it's definitely Niv. Alright, that'll do. Fairy Thought Razor, Night of Autumn. That'll do. Oh, really? Took out Ronus? Hmm. Ronus is so good. Yeah, he is legendary. Ugh. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna need to play that deck some more. Um that was a deck that I I was planning on playing today, but I wasn't able to to play it at all and um All right, taking the Night of Autumn, and because I want to, I want to see if I need to change anything with it. I need, I think it needs some more tuning. So we'd like to draw a land here and be able to Thought Razor plus to Fairy. That would be ideal. How close are we to Ascanting? So they're going to Ascanta next turn.
Hmm. Well, unfortunately, we didn't get the land. Like we can We have a counterspell at least though, but um Yeah, like they so even though we don't get to get rid of the Ascanta, like they just don't have very much mana, so they can't like Ascanta plus absorb or anything like that. So that's nice. This this Niv Miz, it's a huge clock, you know, two turn clock. Yeah, I saw that. They're adding the basic land filter. That's awesome. Yeah, it looks like there's going to be a lot of cool stuff in the update uh, next week. I guess a week from today. Whiff? Scanta whiffed? Is that just all their lands there suddenly? All right, Niv Mizzet taking down game number two. We're off to game number three. Let's definitely get these Teferis back in. And probably want this Knight of Autumn. All right, we got to cut other things. Like, maybe I just cut Narset. They can't draw multiple cards a turn. Is that that big a deal? I mean, Teferi's definitely better than Narset. Plus, we can grab Teferi off of Reborn. We can't grab Narset. I want Planeswalker removal. I want the Disparks. I want the Rampages. I think we need all the Lanterns. Can we cut a Lantern? It's possible. Maybe we cut Relic Seeker. It's like my worst Liliana. I really need both Knight of Autumns. Like, how many Ascantas are they playing? Two or three? All right, I think I'm going to cut one Discovery, one Knight of Autumn. It's being like a slower game. Maybe we don't need the Discoveries as much. Maybe that means we need them more. Maybe we don't need the Lanterns as much. I'm going to cut one Lantern. Yeah. Um, the Demir Control deck that I want to try out that I put together today, because they're... Is is just like that, King J. How you're saying that there's a lot of Elder Spell seeing sideboard play now because there are just so many of these Planeswalkers around, and that Demir Control deck that I have is is a deck with Immortal Sons at the top end, and like some of these decks, they just don't have don't have any answers to Immortal Sun. With it, like their answers are Planeswalkers, are like the Teferi's trying to bounce them. So we have two colors of mana in particular that's harder to get than the others, red and green. So we got a red, which is good. Oh. We need to find black, though, of course. If this Chromatic Lantern gets countered, that's super bad for us. It doesn't particularly look like they have a counter spell. I'm definitely keeping the Steam Vents. And yeah, I'm just going to keep Lantern also. That was the Sorry, worst case scenario. Let's uh, try now this. this lantern is just real gross. Well, I'd rather have lantern over those cards, at least. Jeez. Because basically, if I just play lantern right here, it's just a time walk. So, looking for more lands in our 26 oh, no. land deck. Hopefully get a fourth land here. Real gross. We didn't didn't find another land. Yuck. I 
defense game. Sorry, I'm late. Really need that other land, so I could have gone Lantern what? plus Thought Erasure. Hey, Soul Farmer. This might be a bad idea. So Duress takes the Teferi out of my hand, where, or I could play Teferi and get rid of their Teferi, like tuck their Teferi, and then they can tempt mine. I think that Dragon Skull Summit may have been a turn too late here. I've done the I think we had that a turn earlier. Get like look at looking at their hand. If we had that a turn earlier, we could have thought erased that Teferi away. You need to take a time out. Maybe I just draw a card. I am not going to sit this one out. Fairy's obviously getting contempted. I really should have seen that coming. Green mana? No time for a break. Wow. We're doing it. Of course, I can't cast Veto anyway because of that Time Raveler, so Hold that no ball. big deal there. I've got it. Hits up Welsh Dragon. Soul Farmer. So what are we going to do here? Is it Relic Seeker start making creatures to attack these? Is it Relic Seeker kill the Ascanta? Just playing a Krasis or a Reborn, they die immediately. I think it's Relic Seeker. Uh, then I think I minus. I can't go back empty-handed. I wish I had a little bit more removal in this deck for Planeswalkers that resolve. I don't. I don't have much, and so these Teferis are just taking over. Hey, Yud, going really good. Hurry. Hey, Rex. Hmm. That is bad. Soon enough. Unfortunately, whenever we were missing land drops earlier, I had to mill over my other Teferi. I have like two Teferis that like do a good job of tucking, but like that's it. Ha. Didn't draw a card. I'm kind of over playing counter spells these days with this Teferi everywhere. Kind of over it. 
I'm doing Krasis because I want to draw lands. Oh, there's a Dispark. Okay. Which we didn't hit a land drop, but I wanted to hit a land drop. Because then next turn I could have Lantern plus Reborn with a land drop or Reborn plus something else. Let's skip to the good part. No, I didn't watch that, Rex. I've got time. But yeah, Nymphs are reborn sweet. Uh No, my D Spark. Having four dead cards is too bad. Wow. They must have a Dovin's Veto. Or just, you know, any counter spell. This is all about turn three, I guess it was. Turn three, I still couldn't find a black mana source. I couldn't thought Erasure. I guess it's turn four. That was turn four, because then their, their turn five, they dropped to Fairy. Yeah, that was my turn four. I still couldn't thought Erasure. Does this actually resolve? You just let me know wow. you're up for round two. So that Teferi did get him a ton of cards, and they only have three left with the insight, so it's not like, like without that. We, w we would have been doing just fine without that fairy. No, I am not making this up as I go. Oh, I need that crisis. The undead make great minions. Loyal. Putrid, GG's. Effective. Oh, and one. It's like, like maybe I just don't even bring in Dovin's Veto. Maybe I just play Narset instead of Dovin's Veto. These little Teferis everywhere. That's so that that's like the Demir control that I have playing later. It's it's a lot less counter spell, a lot more anti planeswalker stuff. And so I'm excited to try that one later. I don't really know why I'm keeping this hand. I like these two cards a lot, and we got a lot of lands. Merfolk. Oh, right. Steam Vents doesn't cast this. Yeah, do I have a deck built around Immortal Sun? Yes. Again, yeah, that's what the Demir Control deck is later on. It's a, an Immortal Sun deck. Yep. So we're going to try it out. Cost four, cost... Some number, five and five. I'm going to take this some number. It'd be like a three mana, three, three. It's not green. I won't, didn't really want to Kai's Wrath this next turn anyway, so all good. Yeah, I could have small Vraska instead of big Vraska, honestly. That's something... Big Vraska hasn't been, like, super impressive in this deck. I, yeah, I bet Small Vraska would be better, honestly. Hmm... 
<clears throat> Alright, so I was going to see if they had one of these five drops to play. Hey, what's up, Storm? Yeah, Flappy Kittens is playing a good doggo deck. Ugh. Green, 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 green. No green. I guess I haven't been eating my greens enough recently. Alright, it's green. Plus five to proliferate. I'm gonna play this. That was pretty good. A rampage and three other things. I guess I just take out the 1 1. Otherwise, I'll have to go discard. If I cast Discovery, it just replaces itself and I'll have to discard again. Um. You know, I could have Othakaya. I could have tried to wait so I could Othakaya the one one and then make them sack a two two. But it's like I could just Othakaya the two two. I haven't seen this card in play before. To be fair, I haven't seen the doggo in play before either. Mm. Yeah. Right? How am I getting out of this? How do I, yeah, how do I get out of this? I guess I have to Krasis for two and Othakaya next turn. That thing has Trample? What the heck? Well, Mortify was just the perfect draw. I was lucky. Oh, you've seen this deck a lot since yesterday, huh? People playing Simic Ascendancy and Mowu and Proliferate stuff. Huh. I can't survive the Roalesque. I, di I didn't think that Roalesque was lethal. And it's just... I'm not really in it today. Didn't play that Esper match too well. Didn't play that game very well. All 
All right, the last Kaya's Wrath in here. Get this to spark in here. Uh, I think we want to bounce creatures. They're proliferated. Sounds reasonable to me. Clarion may not kill things. Niv could be too small there. But yeah, I think I think we need to switch out this for the four mana Frasca instead of this Frasca. We need to make that. That's that's definitely one change we got to make with this deck. So Clarion, Rampage, Oath, Ajani. Doing okay on time. Um, just go like this. And what kind of similar deck, Slayer? Similar to the opponent or similar to my deck? That you edit in Spark Double. And Bond of Flourishing. Now, the new Arena patch next week looks pretty sweet. Haven't really talked about it, but it looks really good. I'm glad that we get to finally choose the basic lands and client. That's a huge upgrade. Only they have basic land card styles pretty soon, hopefully. Ah, this multicolored deck. Okay. All right, time to a thought erasure. Rabid bite and frilled mystic. Well, we'll take the the one card with text. It's the other card has text, but. Okay, land drops. Whew, that thing's big. That's a land drop. And we'll take the other land drop also. So we can have six mana next turn and be able to crease this for four. Looks like we're going to a game three. The Krasis's should be able to pull this out for us. Yeah, we're going to game three. Let's keep this pressure going. Hey, Chronic Slayer, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Whoa. That thing's big. That thing's real big. Talk about a card I was not expecting.
I don't really know what I'm doing with this Angrass Rampage, I guess. It's like my my thinking is like maybe Dispersal plus Rampage. End step Dispersal, then Rampage. But that, that's that's not going to work. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing with that. Do I like keep this Kaya's Wrath? I don't know, I guess so. That thing can attack and everything, you know, it's just a 6-9 with reach. And then, so next creature I'll have this Rampage 4. And then I'll take a turn off, since we're out of cards, I'll take a turn off with these Lanterns and uh, set up the Krasis for the next turn. It's 9 right now, but if we draw a land, it'll be 10 and draw 5. There's the land. So it should be 10. I guess I should double count. 3, 6, 9, 10. Yep. Yeah, so three wall encounters on one, two, or three target creatures. Then double the number of wall encounters on each of those creatures. Okay. Shadows Climb's good. Stand by and watch. So yeah, Othakaya, Deafening Clarion, don't, and Angrass Rampage. None of these are very exciting. Maybe I want Knight of Autumn for Adonis Climb? Maybe I want Dovin's Vetoes? Yeah, Kaya, Clarion, Rampage. I guess Clarion. Clarion can be good. Let's play another Clarion. Oh, yeah, I'm going to play a Clarion over the Oath of Kaya. Let's just do that. Yeah, Mowu has been pretty cool. Um, I think I'm going to mulligan this. We're looking at like turn four starting to do stuff. That's better. That's better. So much mana already. Uh, they spent a lot of cards to have two one ones and a one four out. All right, what else you got? Um, probably want to get rid of this. I mean, they can't cast this card yet. So I'm still going to get rid of it. Um, because after, after I Kai's Wrath these things away, they could play it like later on and then it's a big problem where this is just like a 4-4 that I'll just kill next turn or well you know it'll hit me once that'd be bad if my opponent drew a counter spell here
Hooray! Look at us play control. We play our our wrath on turn four and we win. We're so good at magic. Yay. And people say Esper control is tough. Got a Thought Erasure on two and then Kai's Wrath on four. It's tough. <laughs> uh, let's go Krasis for five. And next turn I may just like bounce my own, like if we wouldn't have drawn another Krasis, I was considering of like bouncing the Krasis to be able to draw more kind of thing. We haven't seen any Simic Ascendancy in this deck. That our opponent's playing right now. But as far as so, another question is: any ideas for a Simic Ascendancy deck for myself with all this proliferate? Um, I don't know, honestly. Um, I. Standard is so good, and I just don't... I don't think Simic Ascendancy really fits into Standard too much. There's a lot of enchantment hates and everything, and a lot of removal, and... It's tough. No, our opponent never did play Ascendancy. If they did have... If they had it, they never played it. Okay, new match. Let's refocus. Let's try to... Play a little better than I did the first one. First match. Okay, we already got good uh, Esper mana. Let's look for red and green mana now. All right, another Watery Grave opponent. Could be Clarion is awesome if it's Hero Precinct one, or it could be Clarion's not very good. Okay, this is not Hero Precinct one. Two Bedevils, a Campaign, and a Bolus. Don't have red mana right now. I kind of wanted to take that campaign, but that's just... I don't know. It feels, feels too greedy to take the campaign, because while the campaign is good, it's not going to kill me like the bolus could. All right, there's red mana. Hoping they don't find any more surveil stuff to be able to start picking up this campaign. That's good. No, there's not an 8 rack deck in standard. Yeah, the other rack is the enchantment. In standard, the problem Davriel is good, but that's the problem is you basically just just have Davriel. All right, draw four. It's even better than Krasis. Just five mana. You also you saw how good like the discovery was of like helping us fix our mana and everything. Okay, now we can kind of do anything. If I draw two, I have to go to discard. So even though this gets bedeviled, I might as well play this thing that gets bedeviled. Just, you know, trade with the bedevil, and I'll take the campaign out here so it's gone for good. Instead of just playing a 2-2 a two -two that won't do very much. Plus, we get a treasure to make an even bigger crisis later. Hmm. 
Sometimes, sometimes Hawkeye is sitting up on the table. So I thought you were talking about Hawkeye being on up on the table. Hmm. So if we draw three with Krasis, we go to discard again. Let's slow this down. I think you're supposed to wait till end step for that. Four lands and a crowd of Kronium. That was a good... Yeah, you should probably wait till end step for that Dream Eater. Keep up the pace. Um, I did use the new Jace. I made an Azorius Pillow Fort deck. That one was pretty cool. Best color combos for Vivian, Champion of Wilds. I mean... Specifically just for the card, probably Sultai. Probably blue and black. Blue for Frilled Mystic. Black for, like, Chupacabra, Hostage Taker. Kind of having a, a deck for Vivian built around those four mana creatures is probably where it's at its absolute best. All right, Vetoes. So this is a Grixis deck. So we don't have to worry about... Maybe one night. We don't have to worry about their Teferi Time Wasters nearly as much. So Oath, Clarion... Hmm. A Johnny, Kaya's Wrath. May not have much removal for their creatures, but kind of whatever. I have like too many cards for these matchups, so I'm always like here at like 63. I guess I'll take out a Lantern. This is 62. Take out the Knight, we're at 61. I guess the Mortify. Hey, Wampus. Um, have you used the new J? Oh, wait, I already answered that question. That one was from a while ago. Yeah, the Bant, of course, the Bant midrange deck that uses Vivian, the, you know, someone play like four Vivians, of course, that's that's a really good deck. But I I don't know if that's like the best deck for specifically Vivian, but like it's just a, that's a solid deck in general that if you want like a good deck that plays Vivian kind of thing. I kind of take those questions to mean different things. Glad they took Teferi over Chromatic Lantern. It's definitely possible they just have artifact removal, though. Between Angrass, Rampage, Bedevil, cards like that.
All right, I think we're going to take out all the Dovin's Vetoes. Just get some more interaction in here. I mean, like some more interaction for when everything's around the battlefield. There's all the discard. Let's get like... Yeah, let's get like these Knight of Autumns back in here. And the Mortify. Just take out these things. One night, one night, one mortified, two veto. That's the card I'm going to trim is veto. All right, we need our 26 land deck to have more than two lands in our opening hand, please. Bolus doesn't work with our deck. All right, more than two lands, keep. Because Bolus is three different colors, so you don't find Bolus off of Niv-Mizzet. No, I haven't seen a, a Dreadhorde Butcher Jun, uh, Thud Jun deck. I haven't seen one of those before. No, Niv can't find three color cards. Niv only gets the two color cards. It's a Guild's Matter card. Rude. <laughs> yeah, maybe tomorrow. I, I had a real busy day today. I wasn't able to prepare any decks like beforehand or anything today. But yeah, maybe tomorrow. I, I'm thinking... Uh, Alright, well I guess I gotta play this. For the Tezzeret deck, I'm wondering, like, the Demir control that we're going to play here is an interesting idea with it. Like, I'm wondering how even, like, playing a Tezzeret Karn deck with an open mind. Immortal Sun, because th these Planeswalkers being just so incredibly vital that I wonder if... I have reached my limit. <laughs> playing, like, Sorcerer's Spyglass with... Um, Tezzeret and Karn could be good. Or not Spyglass, sorry, but Immortal Sun. Gotta play the Red Source in case of like a disinformation campaign making us discard a card. And yeah, we'll just get rid of this fountain if they tick up. Take down. Which one's Finale Revelation with? Is that the blue one? I took both my black sources. Dang, so if I, uh, I need to watch the auto tap. Dang it, I did draw the Rampage. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Disgusting.
Yeah, Bronsodon could fit. In the Gruel deck. My intellect is so good setup to use Finale of Revelation with. I mean, there's, for like big mana and standard, there's like Nissa as an option. Um, you could make it like a, a Gilded Lotus Kiora deck. Man, what a killer there. If I just if I just tapped differently, I would have been able to play the harbor, kill this thing. We would have two more lands in play than what we have right now. We would have had the harbor in play plus the other one we had to exile. I should have got rid of this Teferi whenever they ticked up. Ugh. What a killer there with that auto tap. I guess my only option is to kill the Ravager at this point. Oh, yeah, I could have ticked up Teferi, but whatever. Teferi's dead. I have other things to attend. Let your weak minds crumble. Yeah, what a killer that auto tap was. I don't know if we win that game either way. I'd be shocked if we would have won that game still, but. Alright, so we're going to make one change to this deck. We're going to take out. Take out Big Vraska for Little Vraska. And then I don't really know what I want to do against control decks with this. These Narset, like Doan's Veto, Narset, Teferi doesn't really seem good enough. Like, is this an Immortal Sun deck? We could probably play an Immortal Sun in the sideboard. Yeah, I like more to Sparks. Yeah, I like, I like more to Spark. I want no Narsets. I want an extra to spark and an immortal sun. I don't think I need Banefire. We could be a mass manipulation deck. You can only cast it when you have Chromatic Lantern, but that's like what our Nivmiza Perun is there also for. The Niv Mizzet hasn't been very good, to be honest. It really hasn't. I think maybe Expansion Explosion instead of Niv Mizzet. Yeah, that, that Niv and that Vrasco just haven't been very good. All right, I like those. I like that. Yeah, the Disparks were great. Yeah, could call another one of those. <laughs> What's a Johnny doing here? The Johnny keeps us alive against like red in particular. Like that's that's like a Johnny's thing that it's doing, gains life. I've been happy with the Johnny. I could see playing Knight of Autumn, just Knight of Autumn main instead of a Johnny. It's it certainly saved us against Red quite a few times though, because you know you play it, you gain three life, then they have to like 
Um, spend a bunch of resources to get rid of it. Otherwise, you just keep gaining life every single turn. And, you know, it does give, like, your Reborn and your Krasis Vigilance, which is kind of cool, or puts, like, an extra counter on, like, your Teferi to start ulting faster. But, so, like, I've played, like, a Johnny and, like, creature decks against, like, red, and it hasn't been as impressive as this version. I think... I think a Johnny against Red in this deck in particular works really well because of the sweepers with like Kaya's Wrath and Clarion and your your removal, where you can kind of keep the battlefield clear of creatures with like your removal. And if you can do that, then a Johnny on like a battlefield where they can't really just swing six out of Johnny real quick, it just basically ends the game. And of course, with this kind of deck, we're going to be a little behind against like Mono Red. And so I, I really like this card as, as a nice trump card for us in that matchup yeah so that's that's how it that's been my um experience is it it gains three and then it takes like two three damage burn spells so it's basically nine life there yes mono red has to run steam cannon it's not too slow it's the it, yes mono mono red should definitely be playing steam cannon all right, so we didn't we didn't do as well with this deck this time, but a couple of things to that. I didn't play too well, admittedly. I did not play very well this time. So some of that was on me. Um, I think our two big pieces with Niv and Big Vraska haven't been helping us out very much, and I want this Vraska in here on our four mana slots, and then ex expansion also, where we can, like, do have like small explosions to try to kill planeswalkers. We have the expansion copy like Deafening Clarion or Thought Erasure or Discovery um, or An Angrass Rampage, you know, like that kind of stuff. Um, late in the game, if we just, you know, are playing like have a bunch of lands, have like lanterns, you know, we're late in the game, we just have like big explosion to finish people off. Yeah, I like that. Uh, you are you are wrong, Holy Avatar. <laughs> Rainbow Niv is very good. This this card is awesome. This card's very good. And yeah, this card's really good. New Karn in this deck. I do not want New Karn in this deck. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, like we only have like just like not very many planeswalkers. We have some, but I think Immortal Sun would be a good sideboard card because there are just a lot of decks that just really crater to Immortal Sun around. Old Karn. Yeah. Cutting Lantern for Gift of Paradise. You got to be a lot more green heavy than we are. Green's kind of a splash color for me. It's a, it's a late game color for the most part. Lantern's just a much much more reliable. As you see, I have I have four green lands. Four. It's pretty hard to play Gift of Paradise with that. Plus, Gift of Paradise adds two of the same color of mana, which is not good with Niv Mizzet Reborn. Also, that's just another reason why not to play that card. Yeah, I could play an Elder Spell. Elder Spell's really nice these days. All right, putting in an Elder Spell, taking out of Adobin's Veto. I'm in. I'm in for an Elder Spell these days. Uh, the cut for Expansion Explosion was the the blue red Niv is it? I'm just switching blue red cards. There. I think Expansion is the best, the one I want the most. Like, I don't think I want either Rao. I don't really want Sahili. I'm playing a lot of sweepers and stuff. Definitely don't think I'm casting Crackling Drake too much. Yeah, I like this. Because, like, this, you know, we can cast with, like, a, you know, a Glacial Fortress and a Hollowed Fountain or whatever. Like a Fortress and a Water Grave. We could do the expansion part. Okay. What's the payoff for new Niv? Everything in the deck, besides discover 
or no, Discovery is part of it. Besides Lantern and, and Reborn, everything else are cards you, you get with Reborn. Besi like, besides Lands, Lantern, and Reborn, you get everything else. <clears throat> I haven't really gotten to, to needing to pick up, like, Tyrant Scorn to pick up Krasis and, and Reborn. I haven't, I haven't really experienced ever needing to do that. And our blue black, like we already have a lot of blue black cards with the fourth odd razor for discovery, and that's that's the thing about Nivmeza Reborn is you want to have a variety of different color combinations. You know, we want to have a green white card and a green or green black and a red white and stuff. So I don't really want Tyrant Scorn for more blue black cards. Um, uh, old Niv does not win you the game these days. This is like a, like usually like a draw three. It's five mana, six, six flying draw three. Why, why are y'all complaining about this card? This card's really good. Thief of Sanity for control. Mm. Thief is, just doesn't really pass the Teferi test. Like this Teferi. It's kind of killed Thief of Sanity. <clears throat> All right, so we went one and two there. Um, All right, so that's five color reborn. So we're going to try out those changes for the next time here. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Hope you hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Uh, but that's it for five color reborn for today. Uh, and I will see you for another video.